Assalamu alaikum everybody and a very warm welcome to episode 6 of the Sam Martin Burr Show. This is a little show where I, your Arabic teacher, just answer any of your questions that you may have about learning the Arabic language. In the past we've done episodes on things like how to learn loads of vocab, um, how to combine studying colloquial Arabic with standard Arabic, and today we are going through the much anticipated question of how can introverts practice speaking Arabic. So I've really, really been looking forward to this and like in my whole experience of learning the Arabic language, I feel like this has been like a really, really big challenge of mine. And in, and in, in looking into some of the stuff, um, some of the research I did for this episode, I found there's a whole community of like introvert linguists out there who all share these same issues, who all share this same challenge about speaking a language which isn't your first language, even when you're not a person who's overly sort of outgoing and overly social anyway and it, it is a real big it, it is something very serious you know for people who are introverts and often introverts kind of write themselves off as people who just aren't good linguists because they maybe don't have um the the, the aptitude to go and have conversations with strangers a lot and that that's a practice which is quite necessary so so in this episode what i want to do inshallah is um you know just go over some advices um, for, for introverts for practicing to speak their Arabic. Or a lot of this is applicable to other languages as well. So first, you want to apologise, actually. I'm a little bit croaky. Um, I'm not very well at the moment. My kids are at school and stuff. And, you know, they're gross, aren't they, kids? So they go to school, they get you know, diseases and bring them home. So thus... Sam Martin Burr is croaky today. Next thing is that, obviously, on Patreon, um, I want just want to let you guys know that everything's available on there. Whether you want bonus resources, private one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, or to join our Arabic Writers Club, please just go over to patreon.com forward slash Sam Martin Burr. And then the next thing as well is I just want to give you guys a heads up that I've been hosted on The Rerouted Show, which is a podcast uh, created by IERA. That's the Islamic Research and Education Academy. I think that's what, what it stands for. Um, yeah, I've been I've been a guest on their show. So um, Ben Iqra, who's the host of that show, um, did a show with me the other day, and it was really, really good fun. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but uh, I'll let you guys know on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, at Sam Martin Burr, I'll let you guys know when that comes out, because we, we did about an hour and a half podcast on learning the Arabic language on my journey to Islam, and that there's lots of stuff in there that I've never put out into the public before, so, so it'll be a really good fun episode, inshallah, for you guys to enjoy. Good. Okay, so let's actually get into it. So I've got kind of three main advices for um, for introverts, but I, I suppose something before that is that, like, maybe you don't even know if you're an introvert. Like, most people kind of have an idea of whether they're an introvert, whether they're, whether they're an extrovert. But um, if you do want to find out, there's a really cool website called 16 Personalities. I don't know if it's .com or .co.uk. I'm pretty sure it'd be .com. But um, you can go over there. You can do a, a little test for like 30 minutes or whatever. And you can have a, like a full personality assessment. And I've just found it fascinating. Like when I got my results, I was reading it and I was like, this is this is me. It's, it's kind of spooky, really. Um, but anyway, my personality type is a defender. I'm, I'm an ISFJA. So I'm an introverted um, sentinel, I think the S is for, um, assertive is the A, um, but anyway, the, the, you, you can go and check that out yourself, though, to see what the acronyms are, because it's really cool, you can actually spot which personalities go well with other personalities as well, like what personality types are likely to complement others, and what personality types are likely to be good friends, and things like that, so it's, um, it's really interesting, I've had my friends and my family do the personality test as well, and it seems like, like most of my close friends and family are all, are all one kind of personality type, it's like there's one kind of type that I try to keep around me, which is really interesting. But anyway, I think that's enough waffle uh, for the um, for the preamble. So let's get into it. So the first thing that introverts need to understand is that there's a lot that can be done on your own. Like a, like a, a big struggle that a lot of introverts have, and, and even myself in, in learning Arabic too, is that like there's kind of this, this need when you learn a new language to have lots of conversations with native speakers. But frankly... Us introverts don't have a lot of conversations with people even in our own language. Like, most introverts have, like, four friends at best, right? So it's not even, like, like we're very selective with who we're having conversations, even even in our own language, like, let alone in a language where we might be um, compromised socially. So so it is it is really good practice to, to get a few routines to strengthen yourself in private before you go out and unleash your... Um, you know, your beginner's Arabic or whatever language you're learning upon native speakers. So so something that, that, that I really benefited from is just talking to myself in the car, like self-talk just to myself to practice some phrases that I can just say and I know I say them really fluently. 
um, really helped me. So like really making use of those times when you're on your own to, to, to kind of to, to strengthen yourself and improve your fluency. So like in the car with you're alone or even like in the mirror, like whatever works for you, right? Like it's it's it. like if you are an introvert, it's quite likely you already have those spaces in your life. Like you already have those spaces carved out in your life where you can be on your own. So um, so use those spaces as well, whether it be, you know, when I was younger, obviously, before I had a car, it was obviously in my bedroom or obviously I grew up in the countryside. So sometimes I'd just escape a little bit, to, you know, a corner of corner of the beach or whatever. Right. Like, you know, that, that, that's just kind of what I did. And I'm, just, I'm saying like if you are an introvert, you probably already have those things carved out into your life. So use those actually for your for your speaking of a language. Speak with imaginary, imaginary people or whatever like this. This whole practice seems a bit crazy, but. But, it, but I've found it really works with introverts. So um, so that's the first thing. Next thing is, you know, you, you, it's it's good practice to kind of remove the stigma from conversation sometimes. Like, it's worth looking for a professional teacher, someone who is actually... And, and when I say that, it's really important to make sure they're professionals in speaking, right? Like, because speaking teachers are really good at just facilitating flow of conversation, like, I've, just in my experience, they're very good. Like, especially when I was learning Spanish, actually. Like, I had loads of teachers who, even though I was introverted and I wasn't sort of especially, um, you know, you know, confident in a, in, a, in, a, in a conversation setting, I found some teachers who specialised in, t- in speaking and they were just so good at just ironing out any of that awkwardness at all. So, that, and those are things that introverts are often quite sensitive to. So, so, so look at doing that. And then kind of just to build on that, another thing I would say is... It, it's all it's about quality rather than quantity of speaking partners like like us introverts will find it exhausting to have lots of different speaking partners and to be spreading our kind of mental focus and conversational energy across lots of different speaking partners so so don't do that and be, be very very selective so when you're finding speaking partners use platforms where you can learn a lot about this individual before you start speaking to them so places like italki and preply and stuff those, those are good websites where teachers have a profile you see a video of them you can become a little bit more familiar with them and stuff like that too and but perhaps that's a good thing about finding teachers through a podcast like this or youtube as well you you really get to experience to develop a lot of familiarity with a particular individual before you hire them as a teacher like it's just as a side note like it's fascinating when i meet you guys like when i get when i get students who come from my podcast or my youtube channel onto my program they already feel like they know me like they've probably already consumed like like 10 hours of my content like if they if there were um, listeners on the Arabic in 60 steps podcast before this one or if the listeners here like you could consume hours and hours of, of me before I before we even meet so that's that's a huge advantage to hiring teachers who put out content into the world and that on a smaller scale is something that's available on italki and on preply but then also um, there are a lot of like language exchange groups on Facebook which I really like like I've managed to find speaking partners for Turkish on them before and for Bangla as well and um you know other languages I've sort of dipped my toes in so like those are really good too because obviously on Facebook people have a profile you can learn quite a lot just from what people are posting and things like that to develop familiarity before you uh, use up your 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 conversational energy on um, on individuals who may not be conducive to your goals or you may not click or click well with so um yeah so that's it really I mean you know there's just a few kind of thoughts I wanted to keep this as a very brief episode probably under 10 minutes so um yeah, so that's it. I mean, the, the, the only things really for you to do is just um, that, that I wanted to have a call to action to is obviously just to let you know that Patreon is there as always, like everything I do is on my Patreon. And then, um, yeah, and also take take the take the 16 personalities test. It's a, it's the Myers-Briggs test is what it's built on, which I think is built on the work of, um, on the built, uh, work, is built on the work of Jung, actually. So it's quite an old science. It's quite a, you know, it's quite a well-established um, you know, area of study of personality testing. So it's it's very very interesting. Like the sixteen personalities website, they've got what what's what's really cool about it as well is it will show you which individuals, like famous individuals, you share a personality type with. Like I share a personality type with Captain America and Pam Beasley from The Office, and um, who else? Beyonce. Like there's <laughs> there's other people who are defenders who are sort of in the public sphere. Samwise Gamgee as well from Lord of the Rings, and it's really, it's really funny because my best friend, um, brother Asher, who's my He's absolutely my best friend. Like him and I are, we're we're, we're really close. Alhamdulillah. And like he shares a personality type with Fro- with Frodo, which is really <laughs> which is really interesting. But um, but anyway, guys, you go, you guys go and enjoy that, inshallah. Hopefully, I've said some things to uh, you, you other introverts out there, which are beneficial. And uh, and also, you'll probably be surprised at how much content there is out on YouTube for introvert languages students. 
like I didn't realize until in, until I started just looking around for stuff to mention in this episode like there's a whole world out there of introverts who have very introvert specific languages learning issues so so you know if you are an introvert or if you do the the 16 personalities assessment you find out that you're an introvert then um you know that, that that stuff will really benefit you so that's everything for this particular episode of the sam martin burr show so in episode seven what we're going to do next time is a question that i get very often which is just should i learn vocab or grammar first which is a question which always comes from beginners um you know and, and i've had it a lot so we're going to answer it in the next episode so I'll see you guys then assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh